Hello everyone, Time Rover here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at Captain of Industry, a upcoming uh, factory and management simulator that is, I believe, due out on Steam Early Access sometime in March of uh, next year, but is currently available in alpha format. Uh, for certain leveled backers uh, of the game and, and kick from the Kickstarter up till now. And if you visit the uh, the website in the description below, you can certainly uh, give to the project as well to gain access to it. Um, but the main, the main uh, game, as far as I can tell, based off of the roadmap, is due to come out on Steam Early Access in March. But there's quite a lot of content already in in the title here. Um, I caught some videos from other content creators on this game. That's how it sort of came across my radar. And I reached out to the developers uh, to see if they would allow us to take a look at it. And they were kind enough to uh, oblige. So thank you to them. And uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at it. So uh, the best sort of like comparison that I can make from my own experience is something like Factorio um, combined with um, Transport Fever, for example. Uh, and we'll get in there and, and take a look at sort of the similarities and differences. But essentially, it is like Factorio, but with a lot more sort of nuances, a um, lot more detail in terms of um, production chains and, and things like that. So let's go ahead uh, without further ado and go ahead and get into a new game. There is no music yet for the game. So uh, that's, you know, well, hopefully the sounds aren't too loud, but there shouldn't be any music yet. Um, and we are starting on a map that is is, is set in stone. Uh, there's only one map for the early alpha version. Uh, so if you've seen anything on Captain of Industry, anyone playing it, they'll be on this map that we're going to be uh, loading in. So let's go ahead. We'll take a quick look at the settings that we currently have. So we've got the video do, 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 settings, audio settings, and again, just sort of general noise. <laughs> that it currently has got some camera controls can't really bind these elsewhere so um they can't be changed and we've got the miscellaneous so again very early early alpha um but we'll see what we can do so let's go and take a look at the new game here do, 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 do. So I've been having a blast with this so far. Um, I'm always a big fan of the management and factory building simulators. I've featured Factorio a number of times on my channel, uh, but I haven't gotten back to it recently and I, I feel that itch. Uh, but this game has sort of been uh, taking care of that since I've gained access to it. Um, and there is quite a bit of content in terms of technology and how far you can go. If we open up the tech tree here by hitting G, we can see that this tech tree goes quite a ways down. Now, some things, as you can see, are coming soon. So they, they're not actually in the, um, the game, but some things are. So whatever, this cooling tower too is not quite there yet, but there's very few of those coming soon and they mainly happen at the very end of the tech tree, as you can see, um, if we see Research Lab 4s coming soon, and then, yeah, we get to the very end where there's, like, rocket assembly and launch and cargo rockets and that kind of thing. So, <laughs> space station. So, there is apparently plan for space issues, but very, very long tree and lots of content already in the game. So this is what we start with. We start with a basic map. And if I hop out in picture mode, we can sort of see the the map in is in the in its entirety. I can't speak today. Um, so as you can see, it's it's fairly large. And this is sort of starting area is we're going to be here for a while <laughs> in my test game. I haven't really even expanded beyond this uh, this general area, but uh, we'll see what we can do and how far this series goes. As always with a new series, hitting that like button and commenting um, are a very good ways of ensuring more content from the, the game itself. So let's hit the FL button here and uh fl button f11 button and go back into the game so yeah here we are we and we've somehow brought 
six trucks with us. We've got a, a, a dock that's been sort of damaged and whatnot, and we're sort of here to rebuild society. Good stuff, good stuff. So we do have population in this game, so it's somewhat of a pseudo city builder as well. Um, we've got housing for 80 people, uh, a total of 120 people right now. So we'll need to work out population. Each of our buildings requires a certain number of population to work it. So we'll have to keep growing that population. And early on, uh, our growth is going to be determined by what is called a beacon, uh, which will get set up here soon. Uh, we don't, unlike Factorio, where you're like one man running around uh, chopping trees, mining, and, and so on and so forth. We have little trucks, little pickup trucks that do most of the heavy, heavy lifting early on. And each one of these is manned by a worker. So you have pickup trucks that the workers run around and move cargo and so on and so forth all over the place. So we'll be uh, we'll be going through a number of these, um, or I should say, we should be we'll be building a number more of trucks as the game goes on because there is a bit of a backlog that will happen. Um, so yeah, here we are. This is the game. <laughs> so we're going to start things off by uh, getting research going um, because that is more or less the only thing we currently have to build at the moment. Um, we got a couple other things we're going to be setting down before that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plop down two right over here and actually do something like this. Boop, like that. Actually, no, I don't like that orientation we're going to change that around boom and then we'll hit the c button to bring up the copy tool and just try to get this situated right there i am going to pause that i only want one research area up and running for now so we've got that down that will get done and we are going to start our research so first and foremost we've got basic farming so we're gonna we're gonna need to get food for our people so let's go ahead and get that started we'll need to build the lab first but that's going to be okay so there is a queuing system so we are going to queue up a few techs so we don't have to think about it i'm going to go with construction next that way we can get access to our assembler uh, which we need to make construction parts one. So we'll, that'll be important as well. Um, after that, we're going to go into a power and beacon. The beacon's going to be very important to get our initial pop boosted a little bit, as well as get our diesel generator to run said beacon. And then from there, uh, we'll probably go into maintenance and then into mining. And that's probably going to see us through this episode. Uh, we'll see how, how far we get. Uh, let's go ahead and let the game start. So our people, here we go. Welcome, Captain. And it just tells us, hey, you might want to start building a research lab and get a blast furnace going. So we are going to go ahead and do that. Um, We've got the research lab. Let's take a look at the metallurgy and smelting menu here because we are going to need to start making iron iron plates. Uh, so in order to do that, we've got a little stockpile of metal scrap here that we started with, the abandoned communication center. And we're going to need to melt that down in a blast furnace. So let's go ahead and do that. Do, do, do. Let's get this set up here. Um, so as you can see, there are inputs and outputs. We've got on the bottom right now, that's where they're going to input the um, metal, metal slag or metal scraps or something. So we're going to plop this uh, probably over right here. Sounds about good. Uh, this is going to be temporary. We are going to plan on moving this at some point. This setup is going to require some coal. So we've got a little coal maker here. This just burns trees, whoops, burns wood and makes coal. So actually I'm going to go ahead and queue that up before we do go any further. We do have to harvest trees in this game. So our little trucks can do that. It's basically just some dude in a pickup truck going around with a, a chainsaw and cutting down the trees. I'm going to go ahead and just flag these initial trees here 
to be cut and then maybe down here as well and eh, no because i have a plan in mind i kind of want to clear out this whole middle section first so that is going to be good we're going to go up here on the truck icon and add a tree harvester as a truck right there and we could also click on a specific pickup truck and assign to tree harvester as well but i find this to be just much easier rather than trying to click on one of these guys so we've got the blast furnace so this is going to turn metal scrap into coal with coal into molten iron and with a byproduct of exhaust so we need to we need to take care of that so the coal is going to be plopped over here Do, do, do. Um, which way? Which way do we want? Which way do we want? I think I'm just going to plop it in right smack dab there. We're going to put the smokestack right beside it. Boom. And then we've got the metal caster. So the metal caster is going to take that plasma or molten iron and turn it into iron plates. So let's position that. Uh, I'm going to pull it away just a bit so that we leave room for a second one of these. I'm going to put you right there. Now, we may be a little close over here to this thing, but I think that's going to be okay. I'm going to start that recycling. And then we need to actually pipe this stuff. So we're going to go to the transport and we're going to take molten iron or the molten channel and go straight into there. You are gonna get paused. I don't want you built just yet. And then we're gonna take the piping and pipe this thing in right over here. Now we have to be careful with our pipes and channels and whatnot because as you can see, there are levels to these things and a height of zero basically on the ground as well as I believe a height of one uh, trucks cannot pass through, but if we go up to two to three, the trucks can go over. So we're going to want to make sure that we don't box our trucks in or anything like that. Or at least box them out from getting to certain things and, and refueling and so on and so forth. Uh, so we've got new tutorials. Logistics are up and running. So very good, very explanatory, uh, tutorials. Um, sort of information dump granted but they are uh, they do have a lot of information in there iron smelting research lab is ready this is still going no that's fine um i was like did i accidentally build this other thing i don't know so uh while that's happening let's go ahead and turn this up because this needs to start processing we need to start getting some iron plates and i'm actually going to go ahead and up our tree harvesters to three while things are sort of in limbo while we get our basic farming up while that's happening let's talk about unity so unity is another resource in the game that is generated by population and various services that you provide your your uh, citizens and then it also is decreased then by research and what will eventually be the um the beacon but we can also boost various different um, buildings with Unity per month. So there is a cap. Right now, our cap is 20. So we don't really want to see the cap, um, the Unity cap hit or trigger, uh, just because that'll be a waste of Unity. Uh, okay, so we've got that going. Let's get down. Ooh, basic farming. Woohoo! So we've got the basic farming thing. I am going to go ahead and put a boost on the blast furnace for right now, just to sort of eat through some of this stuff a little bit quicker and uh, get us some iron plates a that much faster. I could boost this as well. It's probably a little bit better to do that, but you know, it'll be okay. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and unpause this. That's fine. So while we've got that, our next uh, project is going to be to set up some farms because our people need food. Our people need food. So I'm going to go to the food production and click on farm. And here we have our orientation. So I'm going to put our farm sort of line it up with this area here. I have a rough idea of how I want to lay out my 
my group, but I'm a little, let's see. I'm trying to think here. I have a basic idea of how I want this to sort of be laid out. Uh, can we get this up here? And then, oh, whoa, my goodness. Come on, come on, come on. Over, over, over. To about right there, I think. That looks about right. Just make sure, did I, did I botch that alignment? Uh, yeah, but that's just going to have to be okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll just leave it at that. So we've got one farm. We're going to get a couple more here set up. Uh, let's go first, though, because I want to make sure to get the spacing right here. Uh, so I want to leave room for some ramps later on to allow our trucks and whatnot to go through here. So I'm going to just use a blast furnace as a guide for that very thing. So putting one blast furnace in between these these farms will ensure that they that they are correct. That they leave enough room for um, the ramp on either end. Uh, come on, there. And then we're gonna do one more. Oop, and I'm actually just gonna pause real quick just so they don't queue that up. And then go ahead and turn on fast speed and go there and then pause this one because we're not gonna do that one. We're just gonna do two for right now. Do, 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 excellent. Okay, over here, we are gonna set our crops to be potato and green manure. So there is um, crop rotation in this game. So we need to make sure that our fertility here does not drop drop below 100%. Um, so down here, the potatoes are going to use fertility and give us 30 food. Uh, the, the green manure here is going to then add uh, fertility back into the soil. And there is a percent, so 100% we would get 30. At 50%, we would get 15 food. So yeah, we want to keep the fertility sort of okay. Oh my goodness, our trees are all done. Oh, and construction is done. Awesome, awesome, because that gives us a storage area, which we're going to want to use. Let's go over here and choppy chop some more trees. Thank you very much, and I'm fine with doing that. Please and a thank you. All right, then we've got ourselves the assemblers. Lovely. So for the assembly, I am going to go over here and we're going to set up a few different things. Um, but da, 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 da. How do I want to align this? I think I want to go down. I do. I want to go on this side of this area. And we're going to just go with sort of a setup. Well, let's get some storage first. So down here, I'm going to try to align this. Again, this whole area is all temporary. Like none of this is going to stick around for the foreseeable future. So you're going to go there. And then over here, we are going to build our assembler. We're going to build two of these but we're gonna pause one. Or I guess we should, we'll plop down two, but pause one. So the assembler is going to build construction parts. So those are the other um, thing needed for construction here. As you can see, we've got a list of materials that we have over on the right-hand side. And uh, construction parts are right there. So we, we do start with a hefty amount of items uh, just to get us through. And but we do want to become self sufficient as soon as possible. So, over here, we can set filters. So, on this one, I am going to allow wood. Over here, we are going to put um, iron. Now, there is some base storage in the various different um, production units, 
but it's fairly it's fairly small so we're going to want to get that storage up fairly soon uh we need to actually build this that is wasting time and materials uh, assembly is ready. Hooray. So now our trucks will start to unload materials into the assembler and bring the assembler stuff so that it can make our construction parts. So that is good. Now we do have a bit of a queue. So I'm going to come back in here and just reduce our, our trucks a little bit who are doing the uh, wood cutting because we don't necessarily need that many now that there's more things to do inside and and so on and so forth so let's take a look our food is happening so the farms do require water to grow um, and the only source of water early on is rain so when the rain isn't there and it runs out of water there's going to be a delay uh, but hopefully we can take care of that sooner rather than later. Okay, so our power is finished. Excellent. So now we need to get the beacon. So this is going to help us grow our population. And I'm going to go ahead and just plop you over there. But I'm not going to build you just yet because to run the beacon, we need power. So let's get our initial power set up as soon as possible. Now, I'm gonna put the generator over here, but this is not gonna be where this, I'm gonna ultimately want our power situation. Um, and in fact, we may move this over here very soon, um, but I want to sort of like get rid of these trees and just sort of plot it out a little bit better. Plus over here, this is where our fuel currently is being kept, the shipyard. So I want this to be very close to this generator to get us our initial amount. Once we set up our initial um, diesel production, then I can move it because it's not going to require trucks to deliver the fuel and so on and so forth. Let's get that beacon going. Do, 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 do. And I think that is going to be very nice. I am also going to uh, allow the research lab, the second research lab, to start being built. Actually, never mind. We don't have enough population. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. So maintenance is next. Uh, I am going to go ahead and remove the boost on this building. Just because our unity is getting a little low. I'm hoping that we can get our first pop before we run out of unity. So if you're wondering, um, a month, so this game runs by month, I guess days. A month in game at normal speed is one minute. Um, from there, it sort of gets halved if my memory serves correctly. So at double speed, whoa. Do, do, do. At normal speed, it's one minute. At double speed is 30 seconds. But at the third speed, it comes down to about 20 seconds. Hey, new refugees. Excellent. So our population increases and we gain 16 new pops as well as they bring in some loot which rubber is going to be very useful uh, to get because we don't, it's going to be a while before we can make our own rubber. So we're going to need to stockpile that as best we can. All right. So we've got maintenance. That's good. Uh, I am going to go ahead and just temporarily pause our research for the time being, um, just to allow our unity to refresh air or until the beacon pops one more time. So that's going to be good. Let's go ahead and do this. You guys are idle. Let's go and add a few more to our tree chopping routine. Uh, we'll also go ahead and unpause this farm. They can go ahead and take care of that. Ooh, this is looking a little low. Yeah, we're going to want to set up uh, iron. And hopefully that is going to be the... Um, the end of the episode we'll get we'll try and get um iron set up iron smelting not smelting iron production mining uh over here we're gonna put down maintenance so maintenance is a thing our each if we take a look so yeah each unit or i guess um vehicle requires maintenance now 
can't remember. I think it's just the, the vehicles, but it could be other things. Requires maintenance. And we'll, we're currently just using a backlog of maintenance, you know, somewhere. Uh, but we need to start making our own. So we're going to make a maintenance depot. And uh, they're going to just start bringing goods over to that and do things well there. All right, let's go ahead and pause our beacon and start research again. And as well, we're going to go ahead and do this research because I want to get to vehicles and mining. If we take a look at our tree here, uh, doo -doo -doo. from there, we're going to go with a, um, I guess it doesn't really matter, settlement water versus basic diesel. Uh, I think I'm going to go and get a... I think we're just going to get settlement water and to basic diesel. And from there, we're going to get loose material storage. And I think we're going to appreciate that over here. We do have to pick a recipe. So we don't have any impure copper right now. That is sort of the lower grade one. But we start with uh, some of the higher grade copper. So as you can see, it requires five iron, five copper to give us the uh, 110 maintenance. Whereas the lower grade copper that we'll start with mining um, and producing is going to be a little bit more expensive. But I'm going to go ahead and just put on the first recipe there. That way we, we'll just start using that. And hey, we've got mining and dumping lovely and we are accumulating research now so how's our production it's a little suspect oh yes we need to actually put this in um let's get some potatoes and some green manure get some food started there excellent and I am happy with running the research lab that is gonna be okay so I will note I will note right now um, let's go to speed one. Uh, there is a quick build function. So if we take a look at, uh, well, we'll show that off here in a second. Let's go over here and plop down the mining. So to mine, we'll need a couple different things. One, we'll need to get the vehicle depot down so that we can start making a excavator because the excavator is mine and we'll also be able to start making more pickup trucks. So we're going to go ahead and plop that down. But like I was saying, there is a quick build function. So we can spend Unity to rush build this. Um, as of right now, like I could spend seven Unity if I had it and automatically get this without having the materials. Um, if you have the materials in your stockpile, you still spend Unity, but it's a little bit less. And it's uh, like less costly in terms of the amount of unity required. And it just quick builds it. Um, I don't know if that's going to be in the final game or or what moving forward. I have heard that they are sort of reevaluating how that's going to work. Um, and it does like it will if you have the materials, it will deduct those materials immediately from your stockpiles. Um in order to build that quickly. But I think it's mainly there just so you don't get sort of stuck or anything in, in situations and your game sort of like, you know, goes to crap. You can sort of expedite things and, and so on and so forth. But okay, so with the vehicle depot being built, I'm gonna prioritize that because we need to get an excavator going. Do, 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 do. And there. Let's go over to our mining tab. Where is it? Oh, no, nope, buildings. So in order to mine, we need a mine control tower. So I'm going to hit L. That's going to show us the mining vein here. So we've got a good amount of um, iron ore right there. And if you see these little arrows here, or not arrows, but blocks or uh, squares that tells me that the above here this sort of like brown or not brownish grayish blackish blocks those are dirt so in order to get to this vein we would have to dig through a lot of dirt there whereas some of these other ones these are all surface deposits so that's going to come in handy down the line knowing that uh, let's find a place for our mind control tower i think we're going to go right here Right there. Uh, as you can see, this is water. So we haven't uh, been able to tap into that just yet, but we will at some point. All right, 
So with the mine control tower down, we're gonna edit the area that the excavator is going to be allowed to, to mine. Boop. Perfect. Okay, speaking of which, let's get that small excavator going. Thank you very much. Now, see, we could quick build this for two unity uh, because we have all the materials required to, to build it. But I think I'm fine with just letting our trucks move things over. In fact, I'm going to reduce this back down to one because we are now in a position where we have quite a bit of, of stuff happening. So now that this is down, we can set up an actual mining area. So we click on X or click the little um, excavator in the menu here to designate a mining area. And this is where we can say um, sort of the levels. Now we could dig down into this um, into this sort of like area into a pit, but I think it's much more efficient to just mine out the top area rather than trying to dig down into the ground at this time. So let's do that. So over here, we have a few controls. We can hit F again to have it sort of ramp up. As you can see, our elevation is changing uh, or hit F to straighten it out. So this way we only take the um, the surface deposits. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. And we want to start on the actual elevation that we want to stay at. So here we've got elevation of two. We're going to go ahead and just queue an area to be mined for our excavator. There and there. Oh, uh, no, there we go. Oh, there we go. And we'll clean this up as well. Now, they won't sort of mess around with that but i like it just to make sure that it is indeed okay i think that should be fine okay perfect now is our excavator done it is hooray so let's go uh cue something else up real quick let's get a pickup truck because we're going to need the excavator to be assigned to mine out our ore. And we're going to need to assign a truck in order to pick up said ore. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. Lovely. Uh, let's get this assembly built as well. Probably should have uh, done that sooner. Uh, but that's okay. We take a look at our resources. We're stockpiling pretty well here. And I think... We might be, we might be good for this episode. Yeah, I like it. Uh, let's before we go, let's throw down a few different things. I do want a storage unit over here to store um, our our ore because, as you can see, there's no place to store this ore currently because the only building that's currently accepting iron ore is indeed full. So we're gonna do that as a stopgap there and i think that's all we can do for right now eventually i'll have some storage piles over here but this should be enough to get things going and in here i do want iron ore so that way this truck will just keep piling iron ore in here and we'll have it close to where we're currently using it lovely all right well i think that is enough for the first episode Next episode, uh, we're going to look at expanding our house housing. We're going to be looking at setting up uh, water for our residents and getting uh, copper or sorry, getting our coal mining operation up as well as our diesel production. So I look forward to seeing you in that episode. Otherwise, again, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more content, I strongly encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.